Hello, uh, this is Coach Trevor again. Welcome to SED. This is part five. Uh, SED is basically a learning the mechanics on how to serve any new serve without complications. Or ho I'm hoping that's what it's gonna. Do. Okay. Um, the 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 fifth part of SED. There's eight of them. It's actually the swing power. And uh, one thing. Uh, whenever when I when I'm almost finished with my book, in my book I actually give a lot of details and um, I also there are videos and there are actually me telling you exactly how to do it, not only showing you but actually teaching you how to do it and teaching you the mechanics about it, plus giving you certain things on how to help your swing. For example, the swing power. I get a lot of emails on how to improve the the swing. And I, I I have so many, depending on the age range. Um, here's something that um, uh, I teach my students. So I, I sometimes have students that players that can't serve way to the back. They can barely so serve to the middle. And no matter how much work on their strength, they, they can get it buried to the middle. So I use that as a strength. I teach them how to do... Uh, a, a drop shot okay Be and it works real well because the other team looks at this player and says oh my god that she's gonna serve real hard but because of the power she has which is limited it makes the ball drop real short see so sometimes you have to actually use that to your advantage i have the saying that the number of weapons that you have in your team will depend specifically on how well you get to know each player okay uh, so anyway in the swing power um, there's four areas that I've actually marked down as I've, I've tested this through the years one being in the tenth line and this back area I call it the backyard backyard A B and C uh, the reason I, I color code this is A uh, uh, yellow is a very safe area to serve in just right behind the 10-foot line. Orange is basically where everybody normally serves. Now red, if you can get a ball to actually go high in a certain angle and actually drop in that area, you're gonna have a lot of points. If not, if they do get to pick up that type of serve, they're gonna have to use a lot more power just to get it to the net. But that's something that I'm gonna give you more information on my book once it's finished. I'm almost finished with it. Um, so this is just talking about swing power. One thing that I do tell my students is I usually mark the wall and I mark, of course, the, the net on the floor and I have them serve back and forth. If they can, no, it does not matter where the ball lands as they hit the wall. It does not matter where the ball lands. It matters that they are able to actually serve higher uh, uh, higher than the net. So let's pretend this is the net here in the wall right here. As long as they can serve this height from the middle, that actually uh, demonstrates that they can actually serve from here to here. So imagine that they're, imagine that this is the wall right here and I have the practice hidden in this area. Like I said, it doesn't matter where the ball lands, whether it's short or longer. What matters is they're able to hit it over. If they can do this, okay, effectively, that means that in a real court, they will be able to actually serve it. I also have certain points on the wall. I tell them, if you serve in this area, okay, most likely when you serve in a, in a regular court, the ball is gonna land in the orange area. And then I, uh, and I always tell them if you serve here with a bounce halfway, that's going to serve the ball way over here. I also tell them that if you serve the ball way up here and hit the wall here, when you do a certain serve, okay, the ball is actually going to become a drop ball. It depends on the power. If I tell them I want you to hit it to where you can actually barely reach it, that's going to give them drop ball if I tell, tell them go ahead and serve it hard this is what's gonna happen to that ball and they are gonna have a very good um, serve anyway so as you can see 
by us explaining this to the children, uh, I'm sorry, to the players, it gives them a little bit more of an overview of what they can actually do with each part of serving. So this concludes the uh, swing power.